Hello, I'm Suzanne Gowen, and I'm delighted to have you join me here at my restaurant, Luke, in Los Angeles. One of my great heroes has always been Julia Child, and in the movie, Julie and Julia, Meryl Streep plays the great lady to a T. Bon appétit! <laughs> Amy Adams plays Julie Powell, a woman who devoted a year of her life to taking on the recipes of America's favorite chef. When I was eight, my mother made bouffe bourguignon, but it wasn't just bouffe bourguignon, it was Julia's bouffe bourguignon. Now, one thing Julia Child used to say is that a few simple steps done ahead of time can make all the difference in the end. That's my motto. <laughs> and it's a good motto to have. I've learned over the years that running a successful restaurant takes three things. Preparation, preparation, and more preparation. It's a good thing to remember in the kitchen as well, so you don't suffer the same fate that Julie did when she tried to prepare Julia Child's Boeuf Bourguignon. No, 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 no. Today I'm going to show you how to make the signature dish here at Luke. It's a braised beef short rib with Swiss chard and horseradish cream. Hopefully I'll have better luck than Julie had with the uh, boeuf bourguignon. Um, the nice thing about uh, braised dishes is that you can make them ahead of time and if you take the care and pay attention and really prepare yourself, it ends up being easier in the end. About an hour and a half before, I start by uh, seasoning with salt, cracked black pepper, and thyme. I'm gonna heat my pan, put a little olive oil. I wanna get nice caramelization on the meat. So I'm just gonna place these in, making sure I have enough room. Sizzling is good. Don't crowd them too much. You need patience to do this part, but it, it's worth it in the end. So I'm looking here for the meat to get nicely colored. And I'm gonna color it on all sides. This is the time where it really does take patience and it's not the time to rush because you really want that caramelization on all sides of the meat. And what elevates a braised dish to perfection is having the contrast of a crispy caramelized exterior and then a tender melting interior. Okay, these are starting to get nice color now. And I'm just gonna take them out of the pan. And we're gonna make our sauce in the pan. That's why I need to pull the short ribs out so that I can make my sauce. And then I'm gonna add in the mirepoix, which is just a traditional cut of um, onion, celery, and carrots. And we're gonna let those vegetables cook in here and caramelize. So I'm just adding that mirepoix right into the, the brown bits and some of the meat, the fat from the meat that is left in the pan. And that's just taking up more of the meat flavor that was left behind. I'm going to add in here a few fresh bay leaves, some thyme, and let that all cook in here together. I want to just wait until to let the vegetable really get tender and cook through. Now our, our vegetables are nice and caramelized. I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And then a good amount of red wine. So the next step is we want to have to let this reduce down. Same thing, we're going to add some veal stuck in and let that reduce down too. And by adding that liquid in, I'm pulling all those little flavor bits up from the pan. And by reducing the liquid down, I'm creating a sauce. I'm going to add my ribs back into the pan. So to make this sauce, or to make this whole dish, we're basically layering lots of different flavors together. And in a good dish, you shouldn't be able to taste each thing individually. It should come together really as a whole. So I'm going to cover tightly with the tin foil. And I'm going to put this in the oven at 325 for about three hours. So I have one pan of short ribs that we cooked earlier. Put them in about three hours ago. Very careful. And you should be careful when you're taking this top off because the steam can be a really bad burn. All right. These feel perfect. You can also check it with a knife. If you put the knife in, you want to be able to pull it out without the meat holding onto the knife. So our ribs are ready. So now we're ready to plate. I'm going to start out with some mashed potatoes that I made earlier. Just took some Yukons and russets, steamed them, cooked them with cream and butter. Then this is our Swiss chard that we cooked with cipollini onions. Now the short rib. Just gonna put that right over the top. 
a little spoonful of the horseradish cream. This is actually creme fraiche with uh, horseradish, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon. And there we have it. As Julia taught us, in the kitchen, in the workplace, and in life, being prepared ahead of time will always make things go a little more smoothly. And don't forget to see Julie and Julia opening August 7th in theaters everywhere. Bon appétit!